Today, we are going to learn a topic called interjections. Interjections are parts of speech. As you remember the other day, we learned about, we recited a poem about parts of speech and interjections was one of them. So today we are going to see how we use interjections in our speech. So interjections are words that show sudden feelings. They are words that show your sudden feelings. Something has happened and a word just comes out of your mouth. So normally when we write interjections, we must follow with an exclamation mark. Please look at the screen and see the symbol of the exclamation mark. Can you see it? Yes. So interjections must be followed by an exclamation mark. Okay, so we use interjections to express different types of emotions. And one of them is surprise. So when you are surprised, what do you say? You use the word wow. So you wow about things that you're surprised about. You wow about a beautiful home. That's when you go, wow, what a beautiful home. Wow, what a beautiful child. Wow, what a nice gift. Wow, what a beautiful country you have. So we use the word wow to express our surprise. Aha, uh -huh. wow, what a great day. And remember pupils, after an interjection, remember to always indicate an exclamation mark. I hope we all know what exclamation marks are by now. Yes, at times we are in pain and we use an exclamation mark to indicate the kind of pain that we are going to we are going we are going through. So you have just knocked your leg. What do you say? Oh, I have knocked my toe. Oh, I have knocked my head. Oh, my stomach is paining. Oh, it smells awful. So we use the expression oh to express any kind of pain. Oh, what terrible news. So it means that you're feeling a lot of pain towards that particular news. Oh, I am sorry that you lost your loved one. You're sharing the pain with that particular person. We also use uh, exclamations or interjections to express delight. Aha, something nice has happened. Aha, you have performed very well in your examination. It means that I am happy about what has happened to you. I am happy that you have performed well. Aha, you mean it was your birthday yesterday. I'm sharing the joy with you. Aha, you are given a present. It means that you are happy and you sh and someone is sharing with you. Aha, my parents will be back today. You're anxiously waiting for them. So we use the word aha, remember, with an exclamation mark to express delight. And therefore, aha is an interjection. Aha, we are going on holiday to Mombasa. That is another interjection. So we also use interjections to tell someone to keep quiet. Pupils, when the teacher has said keep quiet and someone is really making noise, what do you tell that person? You make the sound shh. So that sound shh is also an interjection. So we can say, shh, quiet. Don't wake the baby up. Because we want the room to be silent. So therefore, the sound shh is an interjection. Remember, it must be followed by an exclamation mark. Shh, we are in an examination room. So the watch tells everyone to keep 
quiet. Shh, the teacher doesn't like noise making. Please keep quiet or turn your voices low. So that is another interjection. Aha, uh -huh. we also use interjections to react to mistakes. You have just made a mistake and you're, oops, I forgot to write my name on the script. Oops, I have not taken my scripts to be marked. Oops, I haven't finished the teacher's work. So you use that expression when you have just remembered that there's something that you needed to have done and yet you haven't done it. So you use it to react to a mistake. Another one is to express excitement. You are so, so excited about an achievement. You are excited about an activity. You are excited about the end of an activity. So what do you say? You use the expression, hurrah! Hurrah, it's home time. The way you cheer when you're going home. Hurrah! We got the balls. You're happy, you're excited. So we use the interjection, hurrah. And remember, pupils, that we use these interjections and they must be followed by an exclamation mark. Now, pupils, I want you to write sentences. I want you to write sentences using the interjections we have just learned about today. And please remember to underline your interjections. And also remember to have an exclamation mark after every interjection. And that's it for today. Bye, pupils. Bye.